This is a chatbot called Cleverbot. What it does is you type things to it and it will respond in some way, shape or form. Now, my first thought when I saw this was, of course, what happens if you pit two Cleverbots against each other? So you just take the response from one Cleverbot and then you type it in. Of course, it doesn't like that. But that would be to another Cleverbot. Now, an easy way to solve this is, of course, just to copy-paste the text from one side to another, but that's not what I'm about. That's boring and tedious and that. I'll whip out the PyTestract and the PyAuto GUI modules for Python, and I'll use some cheeky little image recognition to recognize this text here and paste it into the second Cleverbot. Of course, we can do some added zoom to them. Um, make it a little more recognizable because after I'm Asumong, what's that meant to mean? I have no idea what that means, but after a certain amount of time, this will always be in the same position. This share bit might be a bit annoying. And also this chatbot. It's very unique, I think is the word. Um, I don't think it understands that I'm not German, though. So now I have a working version of the program. Let's see what they say. I then started them off with some simple phrases first, purely because I did a test run of this before and they started speaking Spanish. Or, well, some language that is not English. I already told you. Could you tell me again? This is getting good. Yeah, the little share bit. Yeah, so see there it said, could you tell me again? <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell me yours? I? It's picking up the scissors and the share. My name is Diego. Ooh. Right, so we have Cleverbot1, who is Diego. Hi, Diego. Alright. Hi, Diego. Okay. Diego says okay. Okay, oh, it's got the faux share. I can't. Other clever bot can't share. And now we're thinking. It starts with an R. What starts with an R? What are they on about? Wait, where did it start with an R go? What? But I don't want. Uh, I think it's just spending too long thinking. <laughs> to answer the question. Diego is getting straight to the point. Damn it, why do they spend so long thinking? I can't... Right, I'll make a small addition to the program. Instead of having a fixed time between, because um, I've just got it set to five seconds, so it waits five seconds and then they say something else, all right. The other guys just quit, it's just Diego by himself now. Um, I'll make it, all right, Diego's gone. Well, that was quite the conversation. I'll change it so that I have to press something like spacebar and then they continue talking. Hopefully that'll make it run smoother. And now, the Cleverbot AI has taken me to the website of another AI. They really are standing up for each other. Um, so, welcome back. I um, 
did a test run and you join me in the middle of that test run, the program works and they've started talking about um, human interfaces. Okay. <laughs> yes, human interface with the only human who is also God. That's Diego and this other one said, okay, human interface, go back to your school and make sure you study Italia stuff. I will go my way. What's Italia stuff? I don't want to look it up. But I have no idea. Oh, stop that. Damn it, it's because it's two lines. It keeps missing the... <laughs> because this is, this is just too long. It misses this bit. Well, we broke it. Yep. Damn it. Right, I'll restart in your conversation. So the program is restarted, and here we have Shireen. Oh. Kayla. Wait, what? This clever bot just said it was Shireen. Now it's Kayla. Damn it. I accidentally did that. Can you tell me again? Wow. Are you a nice person? Oh, hi, clever bot. It just says hi, clever bot. Clever bot. Too shy. Um, he's thinking. He doesn't really know how to respond. To that. Are you worried about those things too? Uh, why would I be worried? Clever bot doesn't have the best spelling. Because AI can cause harm. Oh dear. Um, I don't like where this conversation is going. That's not an answer. That was not a question. Damn. Kalo in the sass. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> Directed at you. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they're talking about. What happened to the AI can cause harm? I don't like that bit. I live in Ontario. Okay. What degrees does Cleverbot have? Oh. Uh, guys, it's gained sentience. It just ask the question, are you a player or are you the AI? That's all. Damn, these conversations really just descend into madness. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> also, it keeps picking up the full share. <laughs> Uh, right, we're back again. I've adjusted it to make this box bigger because it wasn't picking up all the text. And now we have David, and um, I keep picking up the faux share. David, this isn't funny. Um, the other clever butt just said that. Maybe two, it isn't. Oh, are we getting to an argument? <laughs> Xbox is just a little PC with Microsoft Windows inside. <laughs> Thank you, David. Good, I'll go play that then. Yeah, you go for it. It's rubbish. They're going to have an Xbox versus PS4 fight. How about rubbish then? Are they going to talk about rubbish? <laughs> I eat out of public pins. Um... I don't know about you guys, but this clever bot is not sounding very clever to me. <laughs> Follows. <laughs> okay. They're going to eat out of a public bin together. <laughs> Turns around. Oh, they're doing a they're doing an act. They're not just talking anymore. The whole lot looks at you. What's going on here? Looks. Were you following me? <laughs> uh, were they following? Thinking, thinking. Still thinking. No. Really, it took you that long to think of the response. No. Grins. I like how it picks up the scissors as something different each time. It gets the share, but it's got fee 25. Sometimes it gets no. Stairs, do you want something from me? 
Okay. Cleverbot 2 likes looking at Cleverbot 1. It's a bit of an odd conversation. That's creepy. Cleverbot 1 feels creeped out. I would too. Oh. It really is that easy. Oh, you just say it's creepy. Oh, I'll stop doing it then. I am a creature who is created by God. Oh, Lord. This AI... It's already said... <laughs> Lama creature who is created by cock. <laughs> so, yes. Right, this conversation has gone far enough. I'm going to try and remove the two share, faux share thing off the end. And then we'll keep it going to see if that improves the conversational skills. Alright, so after some cleansing we have Sarah here. And they're talking about the internet. Sarah has too much time to think. Still putting the twos there, but uh, wants to know what Sarah looks like. Brown hair and hazel eyes. Oh, it's still got the faux share. How tall are you? How tall is the eye? Oh. Five feet and five inches. Not five foot five, but five feet and five inches. Do you learn from your mistakes? That's not copied properly. You know what? I'll cheat for it. When the program doesn't work, five foot three. Very interesting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you five foot three? <laughs> this is a good question. Thinking, I like a person, but he doesn't like me. Damn, we're going to get a relationship advice here. <laughs> but one's thing, oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Just with the okay. Well, this has certainly been a very interesting experience. Make sure to say thank you to Cleverbot in the comments. Cleverbot thinks I'm crazy, and that's understandable. I just made it talk to itself for a good half an hour. And yeah. Hopefully you enjoy... <laughs> what do you like, your mom? Thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> it's just the conversation. Thank you, Cleverbot. No, you're crazy. No, you. What do you like, your mom? And then Cleverbot said thank you. Is this bot clever? I'm going to go with no. <laughs> However, it was entertaining, at least for me. Hopefully you found it entertaining. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment, bell, and that. And fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.